Explaining his motivation for the donation, Extian stated that he aimed to inspire other writers to contribute their books to the library. Mr. Speaker, the reason for my donation here today is also that I, I do that also in, uh, in memory of uh, my other dear friend who was also Speaker Tio Ben Gurirap. Uh, and then to encourage other people to donate their books also mm. to the library mm. because there is quite a substantial amount of books out there that need to have a rest place yeah. in a library like the Library of Parliament. But Extian shared one of his remarkable writings providing insights into the factors that contributed to Namibia's independence. When we look at 1966, Mr. Speaker, uh, there are three very important dates in 1966 relating to Namibia. First of all, the, the court case, the ruling was on 18th July 1966, and it was also a very auspicious day because 18 July is also the birthday of Mr. Nelson Mandela. And then six weeks later came 26 August. I don't want to speak about 26 August because I, you know infinitely more about 26 August than yes. I do. Yes. But I know the consequences of, uh, of August 26. And then a mere two months later, the General Assembly of the United Nations revoked South Africa's mandate on Namibia, Southwest Africa at that time. And that started the whole international action against South Africa. And that led to the situation where we stand today for an independent, democratic Namibia. In addition to his book donation, Extian also shared selections from other notable individuals. The Speaker of the National Assembly, Professor Peter Kashavivi, emphasized the importance of this donation for politicians in the Parliament's library. I'm extremely, extremely delighted to have this special function dedicated to the handover of valuable books that are so important in terms of the work we do in Parliament. He also expressed satisfaction with the privilege of having access to collector's editions of books that are otherwise expensive and hard to obtain. These are books that are very hard to come by. Some of them are not available, you never, unless if you go to some of the very wealthy, extensive libraries, you will not be able to access them. And how lucky we are to be able to boast some of the titles that you see on the table here. Yolene Shapela, NBC News, Vanduk.